Oh, Cheetah Men, this is why you're my favorite NES game. Oh, right, the review. Okay, so in order to do the appropriate amount of rooster inhaling I'm going to have to do in this video, I'm going to have to choose a new avatar, one of avatar just for this video. Well, I suppose this guy's as good as any, and really it's pretty topical considering I'm going to be dealing with a sitcom starring Hitler here. And so much like a Rue, finger banging his secretary under the desk on his lunch break, I'm on a strict time limit here, let's get to it. Feel free to ignore that, because in reality the series was both debuted and cancelled on the same day in 1990, incidentally the same year that the channel it was on shut down. I'm just saying. Hi, old honey. Hi, old honey. Hi, old honey. Hi, old honey. Hello. I'm home. Well, I'll say this, at least it's better than South African television. <laughs> and that's just the 6 o'clock news. Hi, old honey, I'm home. Boy, I sure am glad that Hitler made it home safely. What did I do now? Oh, tonight you were making schnitzel. What a joke. I'm a very, very bad Hitler. Yes, now come over here so I can spank you. Babe, please. I'm the Fuhrer. You are tearing me apart. Eva. You may be big stuff in Germany, but I knew you when you were just a house painter. <laughs> Boy, this is going to be some night. Hitler breaking the fourth wall? Why not? He broke every other rule known to man. Come on, honey. Don't get sour. And don't think you can smooch round me like that, Adolf Hitler. Yes, because Hitler was someone who could really take no for an answer. I got Neville Chamberlain coming over here. One of history's greatest cowards. That's going to be enthralling. I'll show him around the town. We'll have a few beers. You forget about Czechoslovakia. I'm sure you'll put his mind right at ease. A few moments later. It's the Goldensteins. I don't want those putches to know about Chamberlain. Oh yeah, by the way, Hitler lives right next door to a Jewish couple. When I finally get to invade Poland, who'll be the first to know? The Poles? No! Rosa Goldenstein! Ah ha ha, Jews. Meanwhile... Arnie Goldenstein, <laughs> you are a slob! What ever happened to the glamour? Where did the romance go? How do I know where you put things? I can't even find my shirts. Ha ha ha, woman. Watch the lips. I hate your mother! Ha ha ha, mother-in-law. We had something so pure, so wonderful. What happened to it? You spent it all. Holy Christ! A Jew joke and a woman joke in one. I think we have a winner here. Later. Remember, don't tell Rosa Goldenstein. Neville Chamberlain! Well, that plot point seems to resolve itself. I wonder what'll happen next. You don't know Neville Chamberlain is coming here to Germany? <laughs> oh, wow, the show keeps throwing me on so many loops. Several bad puns later. We get the Goldensteins tipsy so they fall asleep. Hmm? Then we can bundle them back to their apartment. You know, for a plan concocted by Hitler and Ava to get rid of some Jews, this is lacking a bit of pizzazz. Fill her up, Blondie. I'm on a roll. Well, there's no way that this can backfire. No, it's not a monkey. It's your mother. So now, instead of having idiots in your house, you have drunken idiots in your house. That's what I call a job well done. And Adolf, what would you call a polar bear with three balaclavas on? I don't know, Neville. What do you call a polo bear with three balaclavas on? Anything you like, because it can't hear you. Seriously, I've heard better jokes in Christmas crackers. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the master plan's working perfectly. There are two drunken people in my living room who look very much like the Golden State. Yeah. Just say that they're clones, that's what I would do. What could be better than for Chamberlain to see you're just a down-to-earth guy who has fun with his neighbors? I don't know, an episode of I Love Lucy, perhaps? Do you think I could have a word with you in private? Oh, here's the master diplomat at work. It's just that I feel, well, 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 we all feel, that you have been rather a naughty boy, all this Czechoslovakia nonsense, eh? Oh, come on, Neville, I was just having fun. Yeah, I mean, it's not like anything bad happened. Oh, so if I sign this, that guarantees I won't invade Europe. And the rest, as I say, is history. Peace in our time. Boy, you invade one little country. Everyone is on your back. Well, I ain't gonna be saying this thing. <laughs> well, say what you like about the show so far, but at least it's historically accurate. Say hello to Rose! Hi, Rose! Rose!
Rose, this is the British Prime Minister. Honey. I ain't dating at the moment. Good, because the thought of Neville Chamberlain getting it on with some girl that's obviously retarded is more than I can bear at the moment. Really? <laughs> You're a lively little thing, aren't you? Oh God, he's still gonna try anyway, isn't he? Yeah, to have mislaid my document. <laughs> I better find it or I shall look a bit of a ninny when I get back to number 10. <laughs> I'm afraid it's much too late for that. Hey, hey, no. I found this in your refrigerator. Is it important? I can't make it out. It's peace in our time! <laughs> there you go, I saved you about 30 seconds of them trying to guess the title of the document. Hello, old chap. You weren't trying to hide this, were you? Of course not, he put it in the fridge to show you later. Well, you do have all those tanks and battleships you keep trying to hide. Damn you, you bitch! There goes our one swear word, I suppose. Watch it. Get out! Mm. Finally, jeez. Eventually. You're mad, that's what you are. You are raving mad. No, don't try and deny it. You are a very, very naughty little Hitler. I mean, seriously, what are you going to do to him? Give him a light spanking and send him to bed early? Would a naughty Hitler sign this piece of paper? Well, I... I, I Pen, I, I, please. Oh. <laughs> and so, yes, things have gone completely 360 degrees in a circle, and Hitler ends up signing the thing he didn't want to sign. Which, of course, was nothing but a worthless piece of paper in the first place, making this episode double pointless. Well, are they? Now, tell me... Which restaurant would you like me to take you to? <laughs> Do you hear that? That's the sound of my soul dying just a little more. How about that, babe? Huh? You're living with one slick fury here. <laughs> oh, Mr. Sausage. Oh, hooray, now we have the cyanide tablets. A little bit political there. <laughs> Dude, you think? So, all in all, I can really see the reason why only one episode of the about four or five that they shot was ever aired. It isn't that great as a parody. I've seen much better parodies. That said, maybe in another episode or something, the show might have had potential. That's just looking at it without the Adolf Hitler aspect. When you put the Hitler aspect in there, though... It really becomes confusing as to why this offended so many people. I mean, it's a bit on the nose, but it's obviously an absolute piss take. And at the same time, it takes rather a few jabs at some of the people in history who needed to have jabs taken at them. So, I guess if you're looking for a one-sentence concluder, there are far, far better parodies out there, but there are also far, far more offensive things about the Holocaust and World War II out there. So anyway guys, it's been me, DangerMouse1337, and I'll see you guys when I'm not looking so red and Nazi. Bye!